Hello, uh, fellow, I guess, non-Kryptonians. This is uh, the uh, real Nerf uh, Superboy here, Connell himself. Uh, totally trying my best not to keep my composure on Krypton news and didn't steal these shades from the Eradicator at all. No, 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 no. Real Nerf Eradicator is actually a lot like a Eradicator nowadays. He's kind of dumb. Kind of thinks he's a, a red, uh, <laughs> a red Lantern for some reason. So, yeah, keeping the, the identity... Thing for Retro's channel aside, let's talk Krypton Season 2, and, um, yeah, um, first off, uh, I want to give a great, uh, little shout-out to Gra Great Grandpa, uh, aka Cameron Cuff, uh, to him just basically crushing on that, on that uh, uh, kind of funny, uh, Cool Friends, uh, interview the other day, so, cards that, and, um, I think link in the description, because I don't want kind of funny, you know, fans to be like, oh, oh, you're, you're totally a Rooster Teeth guy, like, I'm, I'm liking the press junkets he did during, you know, Comic-Con, and I'm looking at it now, he's, he's doing a great, um, was it Dick or Rich, uh, jacket, Nightwing, it's a Nightwing jacket, it was really cool, um, reading the guy's story, and it's really not bad stuff, um, wish I would have kept any of that for, uh, when I was reviewing season one, um, Later on, card two, we're going to reference, hopefully, what I can remember from memory. It was a very snowy day that uh, last year. So, yeah, season two, um, loving it. Um, it's not completely done yet. As of this recording, we are at episode eight. That just wrapped as of seeing this. So, I might come back when episode ten drops for, like, a full spoilers on me just basically binging the show just casually. You know, I know Retro's losing his mind about missing a certain um, sweeping of the legs and... I don't know, season two of that, probably. I don't know. That being said, I'm here. And the reason why I kind of swiped uh, these uh, bad boys here is to not not totally to enhance my my uh, <laughs> powers just a bit to go to Warner's office and totally tell them to get a season three started for uh, uh, Krypton. And uh, yeah, there's no news of it uh, at all being in developmental limbo or it's uh something stupid like a c word a certain c word i don't want to hear that a certain jason todd is gonna brag about for the next week and a half not abusing my powers aside where to start um lobo that's where to start because turns out the dude the main man himself is getting a, a spinoff uh, and even Cameron himself was like, yeah, well, I wasn't surprised that this guy was going to pop off. Like, he was actually accurate. And by actually accurate, they probably got a cosplaying gear, and whoever they were going to play played him with basically cosplay gear. That's kind of all I can say with this episode, sorry to say. But, yeah, that's the main man. He, he's calling stuff, slags, and uh, fragging and all that stuff. All the alien swears are here. Sorry for every Klondotu store system that probably had to hear that. I know censorship is kind of a death hold uh, in that planet, my bad aside. Planetary crap out of the way, let's just get to the facts. This is a really good episode I've seen so far. I'm eight deep, and if you do really, really want to get this thing a season two, for the next two weeks, please watch this on Sci-Fi, or wherever you are in Britain. Uh, I forgot where internationally, I think Channel 4, if I remember correctly from what Cameron said in the interview. Please go see it. Uh, it's a really good show. Uh, I guess I have to reiterate the premise uh, for those who didn't sit around for the Season 1 um, review. This takes place 200 years before the destruction of Krypton. And Cameron is playing my great-grandpa, great grandpa, and he is having a ball. Like He is like a very dirty, scrappy kind of fighter. He even clicks his arms. I, I can't do it justice. Uh, American body, sorry. Uh, half human of it, at least. Um, uh, like uh, Kind of like what was uh, what's his name? Uh, uh, Henry Cavill did during uh, Mission Impossible Fallout. Yeah, I think he cocked it a little better. Again, I can't do it right. Like, maybe it was this, or like, I don't know. It was a little bit of a shadow boxing kind of thing. Did that again this time for Season 2, and it was going up against Lobo, and he got thrashed instantly. Um, most of the bulk of uh, Season 1, for, again, for those who didn't sit through that review, was him going up against Brainiac, because everyone believed that he was the ultimate destruction of Krypton, kind of, sort of. <laughs> yeah. Also, Adam Strange! Wow, they got that guy! <laughs> And not anybody from the New Gods or any other, you know, cosmic hero that could actually help us out on a time-sensitive situation that is basically time travel. Uh, yeah, so by the end of this first season, the cape was gone, meaning that there is no Superman in the present, only Zod. Um, apologies that I don't know the actor's name off the top of my head like uh, Great Grandpa Cameron does. My bad, for reals. Uh, follow his Instagram down below. It's, dude's got a great story thing. Uh, Plugging his life aside, um, 
He's actually played by a long time uh, evil British uh, character actor going back to even, like, I think, the Pierce Brosnan Bond movies. So take that as you will. I am to be him for that on the level. And he's acting like a pretty composed, pretty. I don't want to say by the numbers odd. You do kind of, like, see some of his, like, uh, turmoil. Like, he wants to be better for Krypton and he wants to just, you know, have to save the planet, essentially. And when me and, you know, Superman, you know, uh, Cal, we, we, we fight him a couple times, yeah, um, you can see it, you can see, like, he was, like, distraught, he was done, he was, he, you can see he wanted to save Krypton at all costs, even with a dead planet like that, like ours. So that being said, uh, present, back to the past, kind of, sort of, uh, Strange is an awesome actor, uh, I forgot the name off the top of my head, the entire cast, I am to be in wiki down below for guy for you guys want to take a look at that, um, he's a very nice, you know, shit talker kind of guy, uh, and you know, he's cool, he's cool, he's a cool dude, um, I totally forgot, although the rest of uh, everyone's uh, secondary characters, my bad aside, especially uh, the House Zod side. Yeah, uh, sorry, possible great grandma. I totally don't hear your actress's name. Please, please don't come through a time stream and totally kick my ass. Please don't. Please. Thank you. Love you. Okay, also being said, um, not only was Lobo uh, a surefire thing was going to be in season two, turns out they also found uh, remnants of. Uh, Doomsday. Yeah, I didn't want to talk about them. Um, the good news for both of these actors, they are playing accurate, you know, like, like straight out of the comic kind of deal. I think the showrunner is a huge DC fan, much like Cameron. They're both in camera too, so uh, I'll just I'll leave it. I'm not gonna say camera one, camera two. Not, not even gonna do that. I'm not gonna not gonna do my great grandpa that any disrespect like that. So that being said, um, what I like so far leading up to episode ten, which I have yet to see, that is gonna be the full spoilers portion of this review, probably in the next couple of weeks. I'm loving what I'm seeing. It's great stuff. Uh, the Lobo mini arc was actually the more the most funniest because you got to see a lot of him playing off of not just Great Grandpa but from uh, Brainiac because uh, turns out he kind of possessed him and kind of had some funny moments in a couple action scenes in a few episodes down the road of him just like just doing everything at once, like being like Gunkata and stuff from Equilibrium. Yeah, uh, speaking of, I really need to get Retro to do an Equilibrium review. Uh, let me know in the comments if you're going to, uh, like, berate him about it. That'd be totally awesome. Thanks, guys. So, um, I, uh, wow, I'm blanking on stuff. So, yeah, final ratings on uh, the first couple episodes, uh, eights and nines, definitely. Uh, just watching episode eight now, a straight nine, a lot of good tension. Um, I thought my possible great-grandma Zod kind of sort of died the previous week. Now it's, like, the starfish situation all over again. Uh, Cal gave me the proper name, totally forgot, I'm blanking on it, mainly because I may or may not have had an experience like that in Hawaii, for those who know who I, where I usually said superhero around, was mostly Hawaii. So yeah, uh, I'll wiki to that guy down below, and, um, yeah, the whole episode was just basically, a uh, great, possible Great Grandma Zod, uh, just going through a fantasy world of her and him, and Great Grandpa, uh, Seg, just having an awesome time, finally got a house and everything, uh, got connected to, uh, I guess my great godmother? I, I don't know how that works, I mean, once you go back to great grandma stuff, I, I was like, uh, great great? Yeah, we'll, we'll go, we're gonna go, we'll just stay great great. Uh, yeah, she basically connected them to a new place and everything, turns out the whole thing was a dream world, and she was getting slowly turned to what was happening, like, she shot her mom, possible great great grandma? Anyway, getting back on topic, uh, a lot of things are happening there. Meanwhile, um, I think Seg and everyone else was getting captured and having a bunch of speeches. I got, I got, it's a, I got a dialogue speech off, kind of Game of Thrones style with um, Zod, because turns out he might also be my uncle. Yeah, Zod, we're, whenever this season's done, you and I got to talk about this whole time stream problem and how you're basically screwing up this universe more than usual. You're of evil, huh? That being said, um, yeah, so far, uh, I'm all over the place with spoilers, kind of like retro, sorry to say, and, um, ah, oh, I gotta get rid of these, uh, eradicator glasses, because it's just telling me to kill the camera, mm -hmm. and all technology, yeah, 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 I know you can't see it, but I'm trying to blink it to stop, so, emergencies aside, as I see it now, please go watch the show, I know I'm blah, blurring all over, the Damn it, I'm trying to find the Kryptonian word for puke. But basically that all over the, like, half-ass uh, spoilers. But trust me as I say, this is a really good show. I highly recommend watching it. If you are a huge DC fan, this is definitely a good callback. I think Cameron, throughout the interviews I've been hearing, he's doing a lot of Christopher Reed sh uh, shout-outs, which you can see, and he's 
teasing so hard for episode 10 coming up, and especially Speechy was writing with one of the showrunners, so maybe it might go go well, maybe it could secure, hopefully, a season 3, because apparently that's still in limbo, and I got a kill setting going on with these glasses. Ah, why is this lighted? Anyway, trying to get these things off aside, um, what did you guys think of this review? Was it a little too fast? Was it a little too loose? A little too slow? Kind of need to fly out of here just to rip these things off. <clears throat> that being said, I am the real Nerf Superboy. One time only special here, guys. I'm going to try to come back here for the end of the season. That being said, uh, I hope uh, that uh, Retro has a pre-package -pre or uh, end card or... Uh... Jason, what does he call it? He called it a post-cred! I, I thought it was epilogue. It's a post -cred. I don't know. Uh, epilogue coming up if you guys see it and um yeah if not uh this is the end card either way uh hand here for uh the previous video which is i think him going through a whole comic-con week and yet hasn't talked about my great grandpa k killing it with a freaking uh nightwing shirt i mean like what the hell man and cosplaying as one of his favorite movies here uh, was it scott pilgrim dude what the hell and uh yeah other hand here to <laughs> almost john c it but other hand here to, to subscribe to his content and uh Hit the bell and the notification if you want to see more of me uh, going through the catalog of uh, House L's, you know, movies. Maybe the Christopher Reeves series. Maybe the one time only Brandon Routh deal for an April Fool's Day up, uh, video. Let me know and uh, let's get these glasses off. God. Ah, great wrong. Ah. Uh, wow, seriously? Privacy saying. This whole thing was a privacy saying. Yeah, whatever. Take care, guys.